Joe Joyce, welcome to Connacht Rugby. Your first two weeks here at the club. How are you settling, settling into Connacht and to your new home of Galway? Yeah, I've settled in well. I'm pretty familiar with the area anyway, so I've been here quite a few times over the years. So, yeah, it's been good to finally get here. I moved down into Roscam about three, three weeks ago with my wife and two dogs, and we've been about, done a bit of, tra- bit of travelling. So, yeah, just getting around and uh, showing the wife the area. We're into our second week now of pre-season. What, what have you done so far regards pre-season and how are you feeling? Yeah, it's, it's obviously the first time I've been in a new environment for 11 years, so I was uh, pretty nervous coming into this uh, pre-season. But it's been good, it's been, it's been very tough, but um, all the lads have been good to me. The staff, and it's just been, been good just getting to, new, getting to know new faces and new beliefs. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been good so far. One of the members of our staff, a man that's came back, a man that's well known, with Connacht Rugby, John Muldoon, you worked with him at Bristol. Tell us what, uh, what has Mould been like since you've arrived? Yeah, he's been good, obviously, through the whole process. Obviously, he got announced that um, I was signing, I signed here over 30 months ago now. So, yeah, for a while, he's, uh, he's, been, he's been great. Him and his wife, Lorna, have been brilliant help to me and to me and Lauren before we come here and tell us what to expect and where to go and where, where not to go and things to do. So, yeah, they've been a... Uh, They've been brilliant for us, and yeah, obviously brought them all for five years now. So first as a defence coach, as a four coach. So yeah, I was very, very lucky that that's going to make my transition a lot easier. I think. And what type of character was Mull around the dressing room over in Bristol? Uh, he's very well respected. It was, um, it was obvious he was a captain in his in his playing days because when he talks, he sort of like, demands respects and uh, he gets the relationships right. He's uh, gets on well with with the lads, but he's also a line which. Uh, he, he keeps two as well, so yeah, he's a he's a professional, professional man, Mo. So for this season, for you, for you, Joe, like, what are your hopes and ambitions for your time here at Connacht, but particularly this season coming? Uh, first of all, getting a team. Obviously, I've been in the same environment for eleven years now, so everything's new to me here. So I really want to start well. I want to have a, a good pre-season. So uh, I was injured towards the end of la- towards the end of last season, so I want to start well. Getting a team, and obviously last year I was watching a lot of a lot of the games and seeing uh, seeing how strong the lads finished, and and also was like four minutes left in the semi final for one score away from from a final. So uh, obviously I want to achieve that this year, get one step further and get in the final because I don't think any team should be should be looking back. So if we got to a semi final last year, that should be the minimum goal for this year. And the quality actually that we have in the second row between you have the two Marais, Oshin Dowlin, Gavin Tormby, these guys that you'll be competing against, like the level that they have, but what are you looking to bring to what those lads have already brought to the club? That's another big part of me of me coming actually. There's a lot of competition in, in that area, so I'm very lucky for a few guys actually want me with all that um, with that talent coming through. So yeah. As a, I feel honoured to be here, and I've watched a lot last year. It's a very mobile group of second rows to get through a lot of hard work, and uh, I just need to add to that as well. Watching the Ulster game in the semi in the quarter final last year, the amount of work uh, Josh Murphy got through was it was it was fascinating to watch. So uh, yeah, I wanna I like to say I'm a bit of an all rounder. I can I can play in tight areas. I can I can play in the loose and. Uh, scrummage on the tight head side and core line out so I like to think I'm a, a well rounded second row so if I could bring a bit of calmness there and a bit of leadership and uh, yeah that's what I'd look to bring Would you say you're much of a rugby nerd like if you were watching a lot of our games last year would you have watched a lot of rugby growing up? Uh, no to, to be fair I've always taken notice of, of Connacht I almost actually came on loan here in 2020 after the Challenge Cup final uh, for Bristol we beat Sloan in the final and I was met a come straight after that final better fly here and go alone for three weeks not many people know that I think we had a bit of an injury crisis in, at Connacht and uh, I asked Pat instead of having time off can I come over to Connacht and play more rugby and uh, he was brilliant he, uh, he rang Tim straight away and that almost happened but fortunately I came off injured in the last ten minutes of the final so it never happened can we talk about your community work, Joe? Because I know you did a lot of work regards community in Bristol. Uh, just, if you can just talk us through what sort of community work you did in Bristol and what you hope to bring over here in Connacht. Yeah, I was born and bred Bristol, so um, I thought the obvious thing, the obvious role for me in the leadership group at, at Bristol was to take the responsibility of leading at the community side. So I ran the community side uh, for the player for the player group. But to be fair. 
my job was made pretty easy. So all I've done, I got I got the events going on. I get sent the events going on in the city that week, and I'll put it to the lads saying, we've got this going on, who wants to volunteer for this and this? And uh, lads volunteered a lot to do things, so... But I enjoyed it because I knew every rugby club in Bristol, I knew most of the schools, I knew most of the community clubs, so when you've got such a big knowledge of the area and you're from there, it becomes a lot easier. So first step here is to get to know the area more. I went out to um, Corinthians yesterday and met a small part of the community so I plan to sit down with uh, with Joe to understand the wider community and all five parts of the place so yeah that's the first step for me is just to get to know the area more and try and get people's respect. And again regards getting to know the area you mentioned earlier on you, you know the area because your family actually you've strong Irish heritage your family come from parts of Connacht and I know parts of Munster as well so what parts exactly in Connacht, do your family come from? Yeah, so it's was Dean McConnell so it was about six miles from Clumber and about two miles from Finney. So, uh, yeah, I've been there quite a few times. I took my wife there, um, I think it was last January, and the weather was outstanding. So, uh, yeah, I, I conned the wife into, into that one and I told her how nice uh, the weather was going to be. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, proud of my heritage. There's obviously a big reason why I come here. I feel very lucky, to be fair, because not many people get to represent their hometown club for that long and then get to represent their heritage as well so if I was to write out my career so far lucky enough I've got close to that so yeah I feel very blessed have the opportunity to um to come here now and yeah I'm just desperate to give my all for Connacht Rugby. So when you were growing up like would you have came over to Ireland for like summer holidays and so on? I've been over probably about eight ten times before I signed so yeah it's not it wasn't massively new to me, and I thought my mum's side uh, are from Turles and Tipperary as well. So um, there's Irish roots in both sides of my family. So I went down there a few weeks back to see the family in Turles. Turles and uh, yeah, I've also got family in Ballinhonus in, in Mayo as well. So I've got family uh, <laughs> everywhere. So yeah, it was, a, it was it was a proud moment for my family when um, I signed for Connacht. Yeah, and again, a big question that might be asked of you, Joe, in terms of your support for your GA team are you going to be a Galway man a Mayo man or where your allegiance going to lie uh, do you think I'll be a Galway man I've already got the top but I can't wear it yet so it looks like I'm begging it too soon doesn't it so yeah I've already got the jersey 